behind the controls of an Army Apache helicopter in this simulator, 17-year-old David Rustin gets a glimpse into the high-tech world of the U.S. Army. It simulates the actual flight of going into a mission and uh, the passenger controls uh, the firing. The student from Massachusetts was among 160 students from around the country competing in the 1080 Student Racing Challenge NASCAR STEM Initiative in Kannapolis, North Carolina, near Charlotte. The event provided application of classroom learning showing how science, technology, engineering, and mathematics are used in racing, in the Army, and in daily life. This is your first engineering experience? Yes, sir. You think you'll do it again? Yes, sir. Active duty soldier Major Jackson Salter is on a mission to educate students about the value of science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM. As an Army Apache pilot, every component of STEM came into play while navigating his helicopter on missions. STEM is very important. It's one of those things the Army is looking for soldiers, looking for leaders who have that background like you did. As an assistant professor of military science at UNC Charlotte, he teaches students the principles of STEM are far-reaching and can open leadership doors in the future. Another part of STEM, too, I think, is the, uh, the problem solving, uh, the scientific approach is, is a key piece in how we solve problems. And so, uh, as an Army leader, part of your job is to solve problems. Soldiers solve problems using leading-edge technologies like robotics designed for ordnance disposal. The Army examples of STEM at the 1080 event opened eyes to implications far beyond the classroom. The kids get to see where a lot of the things that they work on with their hands are actually very much applied um, at a very higher level, at a more complicated level. So uh, it, it, it opens up avenues for the kids. Um, it, it also opens up the uh, uh, curiosity. As a 1080 partner, the Army and the soldiers who serve in it are mentoring and inspiring students to strengthen their education and futures through science and technology, both as individuals and as teams. The whole team, we did our thing. We had to make it happen. So. It was, a, it was a good learning experience. A triumphant experience for students using Army keys for success, technology, and teamwork. I'm Marianne Rizuk reporting for the U.S. Army.